On a recent shopping trip with my beloved, a Saturday afternoon pastime which I'm sure as I, you relish. We happened to be in a kitchen accessories department when she clapped eyes upon a tray and exclaimed in a loud and somewhat embarrassing voice, we could do with some of these. Nay, I replied, I shall fabricate them for you in my very workshop. What ensues is that very fabrication. I start this project as I do all my projects with an incredibly detailed, accurate to scale diagram using a pencil. With more detail than you can shake a stick at committed to paper, I move across to the table saw and start slicing down some beech I found discarded in the corner of the workshop. I'm cutting the beech into 15 mil strips as it gave me maximum yield out of the timber I had left and, well, it seemed like a nice number. I've never made a tray before. So I thought I'd lay it out dry and see what it's going to look like. Hmm, quite nice. Standard to glue up, nothing special going on here. Ah, yes. Apart from the fact uh, Whitney Houston's song came on the radio, so apologies for the poor attempt at dance moves. Anyway, moving swiftly on, with all the glue spread, I square it all up and clamp it down. Then I do the same with the handles. I leave the boards in the clamps for a good couple of hours just to make sure the glue is properly set and then flatten them all down at the drum sander. Oops. Gosh darn and blast it all, I thought. I haven't cut some extra stock to set the table up. And then I had a eureka moment. A light bulb appeared above my head. I don't need to waste the same material. Setting the height of the router bit is about setting the height of the router bit. The materials are relevant. So I could use some 18 mil MDF or 12 mil ply. I don't need to waste beach. And for the center cut, the only thing that's important is the width of the material I use needs to be the same width as this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And hopefully I'm right. Let's find out. So I've got my scale out and I've chosen MDOV E. I think that's going to look really attractive on the edge of the tray. My suggested depth of cut is 7mm with a half inch 14 degree bit, which I have here ready to go. So I'm going to pop that in and set depth of cut. And I'm going to set depth of cut using some scrap MDF.
I centre the fence over the rotor bit by eye and then zero one of the scales on the sliding rail. This is the part of the project that I was concerned about. The sheer length of the stock sticking out from the right angled fixture, it even hangs off the end of the table at this point. As it turned out it was okay, but I was quite concerned that the timber might flap a little. Doesn't it make you feel great when it just works first time? Chuffed or what? Anyway, by sheer damn luck, the finished size that the boards came out to was all but perfect for the template. Just a little trim to make sure they were parallel. It's all going my way today. Next job is to size the timber for the handles, or the tray ends if you like, and also yet another piece of scrap MDF to use to set centre car. Ideal. I set my fence to centre of the board, which for me on this project is 167 mil, and then make the first cut. Unfortunately, it didn't go perfectly on this one, and I had to make some adjustments, but hey ho, it's been good so far. With centre of board sat on the rotor table, I head back over to the saw bench and trim the handle boards to width, before remembering that I've completely forgotten to insert the appropriate scale in the sliding rail. Oops. Next job on the list, 6mm rebate on the back of the handle boards. Apologies for the focus on this shot. Apparently the camera decided the background should be in focus and not the most important bit, what I was doing on the router table. Oh well.
As I'm sure I've said before, but I'm going to say again anyway, once the setup's done with the Incra system, actually cutting the dovetails themselves is just a walk in the park. Simply advance to the next mark on the scale each time and pass it over the bit. Jobs are bobby. I think it might be time for a new router bit. What say you? Next I set up for the pin cuts. I'm using one of the Incra Wonder Stops. Don't think that's the right name actually. Uh, but they are extremely good. But don't buy one, buy two. Always good to make a test cut first. Next is time for the pin cuts, and these boards felt huge. This is the broad biggest project I've ever cut using the Incra system on my voucher table, and it certainly felt like it. It's obvious to me now, reviewing this footage, that it was of vital importance I focus explicitly on the holes you need to access the uh, locking screws for the fence and not on the pin cut. So I just wanted to make that point. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an important message. I'm embarrassed to say we're out of time. That's it for part one. It's done. However, part two is just around the corner. There'll be a link here somewhere. Just time for a cup of tea and another biscuit, or maybe a piece of sponge or small cake. Jaffa cake, maybe?